Legend of Total War here with part 86 of my Call of Warhammer Rage of the Dark Gods Let's Play campaign as the Warriors of Corn. Previously we defeated the uh, the Beastmen again because they re-emerged and we also took this settlement here from the Dwarves. And if we can take a settlement every episode then that would be great. I'm just seeing what else there is for me to do this turn. I don't think there's much. Got a few troops here. I might recruit you but then move the bulk of these forces. Down to this. Oh, God damn it. This is all mostly garbage here. The gods watch over us. How about um, just bring these guys out here? Oh, God damn it. How many of them were, do we need? Oh, right, six. My rage shall ruin nations. A thousand slaves for our toil. Oh, you need to stay there for public order reasons. Great. My rage shall ruin nations. You slow me down too much. What a pain. I might actually be able to disband some of these units here that I don't need. Ruination. Yes, sake so there is nothing to fear but fear itself. So that I can fit them in this, into one stack. Okay, two more. Get rid of this. That and someone from here. Probably wasn't the smartest of moves, but it doesn't really matter because we're doing so well, I guess. Okay, I've still got 30,000 to spend. Let's spend that just quickly on whatever and then move on. No, not that. It's not needed. Not needed. That'll do. Let's move on to the next turn. As the gods and nobody does anything. That's good. Maybe. Um, no. So the orcs and goblins have the most money. Which is strange because they don't exactly have a lot of territory. And they do have quite a lot of soldiers. We could do a draw out fight there, but against the orcs it's a pain in the ass. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. So they've made no effort really to defend themselves against draw out fights it here. Be an honor to defeat you, dear Paul. This siege is still There's ongoing. I will fight that, just not right. Yeah, I'll do it now. Because we can recruit certain units here this turn, so we will need to repel them now. I mean, it would have been good if we repelled them last turn, I just think it, the cost of doing so would have been not worth it. But now, obviously, we can use uh, fresh cannons again with all that ammunition, blow them up a little bit more, thin them out, maybe take out 10 to 30% of them again. And um, then go and strike them. They might hear a bit of background noise. Um, it's raining today. And just because it's raining doesn't mean it's not hot. I've still got a fan on me and it is autumn. It's still hot. It's never not hot in this country. Except for winter. But... Actually, winter's quite nice, to be honest. But it only, the problem with winter is it only lasts a very short amount of time. Glad we're approaching winter. My mood will drastically improve in winter, you might notice. I get I get insanely cranky during the summer. Alright, let's blow these motherfuckers up. Any kills we get will be worth it. Just organize myself a little bit while this is going on. I 
I don't think we've hit a single one of them yet. That's a pain. We've used up like a quarter of our ammunition. We haven't even hit them yet. Let's get a bit closer. I mean, we killed a couple of them there, but that's not what I'm worried about. Okay, I finally got a hit there. Okay, don't let them get to our guys. Get them out of there. Okay, so we've killed 6% of them. That's okay. Obviously, we want to do a bit more. We want to try and thin them out as much as possible, obviously, before we go in there. Back. I don't want you guys getting shot. But one of those hits must be good. We killed another 4% of them. So now it says victory is a distinct possibi uh, possibility. But we're not just here for victory, don't forget. Because if we beat them here, there's like likely another stack will show up next turn. And we still have a long time before this will be at full strength. And the more, more of our guys get killed, the worse off we'll be. I'm going to bring you out, see if you can get rid of some of these arrow boys. There's not that many of them. And if they're the first to die, they'll be the first to recover. Ah, oh, fuck. Sort of wasted them again. Killed 14%. What we really need to be hitting are those ogres, but it's a small target. Sit there and take it like a bitch, you fucks. Oh good, we killed their general. That's that's the commander of their forces as well. It should be much easier to win this now. Get back. I don't care if we don't kill them all. If they if they want to run uh, want to run away, then that's fine. Opportunity and I took it. So, what are we up to now? 33%. Not too bad. We've only lost like four Chaos Marauders, which should recover as long as we you know, send in some other guys to die at some point. Which I will. Nice hit on those bodyguard there, because those are really excellent units. Those blunderbusses. 
good to kill them. Although we haven't killed the general himself yet. Good, almost half of them are dead. If I can send you around the back here after they go and capture them, that would be awesome. You've only got a second before that. Run off the battlefield. Could be good that they come this close. Quick blender buses, get up here. Didn't think that this might happen. Stay where you are. Okay, artillery back out you go. So some of their units ran away, which it would have been good if we can capture them. That's probably ensure that, that we can't actually kill a lot of them, but still, it's good. We've barely lost anything, and that's, at the end of the day, more important than actually killing these guys. Because we have limited resources in this area. Killed an oak? No, he didn't. Oh, careful where you're fucking shooting. Don't shoot at the cavalry. Oh, fuck. They all died from something. Oh, it doesn't matter. It happens. First to die, first to recover. Okay, you guys are pretty much out of ammo now. And we can pretty much just melee smash the rest of them. Get out of there. Oh, I see. The blunderbusses did it to us. Let them die, it's fine. Alright, let's do this. Everyone get out, time to kill. Well, you're not cavalry, are you? Actually, you guys come out. You might be able to kill some of these ogres for us. Definitely someone needs to close in on these Chaos Dwarf bodyguards. You should stay away from them. You should go and kill those ogres. So just got shredded there. Good, another general dead. Make sure you run them down. Good stuff. I'm pretty happy with that. And the, um, where are they? We recovered nine. Hang on. We recovered 16 of them. All right, well, that's not too bad. Because we could recruit more from this area, given enough time. If we wait here. Oh, oh no, we didn't wipe that. Oh no, we did. Good. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. So as far as I can tell, they've only got these three armies left. According to this, they can't make it here next turn. Okay, so we can recruit three units. Three, 
and train that one. So uh, recruit four. So that'll give us a full stack again, but it's not a, a completely full stack, if you know what I mean. Because a lot of these units are diminished. There's an orc territory over here. I wonder if I should go for that instead. Because that just looks a little bit too... There's too many of them there for, for this army. Holy head as Iron Claw. Right. I think this is a nobody. The carnage shall be great. Great are the rewards of victory. My Attacking that head on could be pretty dumb. And uh, look, there he is, War Boss Grimgore. Grimgore Ironhide. There you are. He's not that good. Mm, I'm actually feeling a little bit overwhelmed here. Both of these armies put together might be able to crush us. Alright, need you to take out Kandorf. This is the faction leader, Prince Sven. Maybe you deal with that later. Let's take this one here first, using the draw out tactic. Whereas, which army's got lots of cavalry? This one does. I'll tell you what, I'll just put the cavalry in this force here. And then attack Kenrick. Ah, oh, motherfucker, I screwed it up. Oh, no, I didn't, not necessarily. Um, okay, we're gonna do this now. Alright, you come here, besiege the settlement. Don't need to kill him, we just need to um, defeat him. I'm just gonna send a small force over there. Just to order resolve, hopefully, beat him. The slaughter is sweet. Get what? Yes, exalted one. I shall be the highest. Okay, now they can't run away again. Praise corn. Stop. Let's get moving. Um, I okay, good. So you still got six spaces available. Just gonna take all the gump that I don't really care about. Right, so the odds are definitely in our favor. Don't call him in. He should be easy enough. And then these are just pretty basic. All right, good. Kill, kill, kill. Certainly good to take more settlements off them. Provides me with more places to recruit and more money and less for them. Okay, I need to reorganize this because it's a bit of a mess. I don't really need these for this battle, but let's organize how I like it. Alright then, so we've got tons of ogres. The ogres by themselves should be able to win this battle for us. Okay, what I'm going to do here is to send the ogres right away go kill him. They should be able to crush him. Especially before they get here. Where are you going, motherfucker? You can't run away. Come on, kill him. Don't let him get away. Good, he's dead. And killed none of my guys. So that's them coming in from over here.
Okay, I guess we could have a bit of a skirmish. I think we've got skirmish of superiority. I think they've got one lot of um, crossbowmen. I can always have my cavalry harass them. Should be a bit more careful with my general, but I think that was worth it. Yep. And let's kick some ass. Okay, all missile units now cease fire. I don't really think I need the these guys. I'll save them for afterwards. Yeah, you can fight them. Luke, hurry up. Good. Let the mass route commence. And yeah, we've got this. I don't think there was ever any doubt of it. And execute Who's this over here? Dwarves. Right. Alright, we might have to stay here for a while though. Yeah, that'll need to be repaired. must have held onto the settlement at one point or another. Well, with all those extra cannons, I guess you can go and help here, just as we just blow the living fuck out of the place. It's kind of overkill, though. Yeah. Let him have one of those cannons. Wait, how many do you have? You've already got two. Alright, so... You can have this unit here, and you can have another cannon. Oh, whoops. There's only space for one. Uh, give them the blunderbusses. Actually, I might take this unit... Push him out of the way. What is it, anyway? Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Right, I'm just gonna quick save it just in case it crashes. I'm gonna take Akendorf. Alright, 
which is the border prince's capital. But I can't see any possible way for defeat for us. It's really not going to be a problem. These border princes are pretty easy to defeat. Alright, get the cannons together. And the blunderbusses together. And that'll do. Okay. I don't like coming in from this angle here. Let's go from a different spot. How's this spot here? What about the other spot? Over the side. Is this a huge city? I don't think so. I think it's a large city. I don't like this either. I think this spot here would be the best. And then you come right behind here, and then you guys here, and then there. Get in a bit closer. They're not even positioned here. But with three cannons, we can we can basically take our time to blow everything up. We'll not take our time, but we can just... Yeah, we've got tons of ammunition. And then we've also got three blunderbusses after that. I wonder if they've got any uh, crossbow units. Those are axes. One in three accuracy here, which is whatever. There we go. It's good to see when they're actually. All three of them hit. Hasn't landed a single hit on the gate yet, but there's still getting closer anyway. You guys block this one as well. I don't think they're coming. Right. Oh wait, yeah, they're, they're coming. Alright, um, let's use you first. I'd rather you be here. Come and hurry up and blow that up. Why can't we just use two of them at once? I'm gonna use three at once. I wonder if they're gonna come any closer. I think you guys have done enough, you can take a breather. Alright, I'm gonna grab these heretic crossbowmen and actually put them up on their own walls. Maybe up here so we can actually shoot them. But yeah, if they come down here, three lots of blunderbusses are gonna shoot at them. Or they're just going to withdraw. I guess they've recognised that they're absolutely fucked if they attack. I don't think that they've got any skirmishes at all. Right, now I'm going to use you. And you. Oh, hang on. What are they doing? 
Oh, they do have archers. Oh, fuck, let's get out of there. God damn it. I want to do this without taking too many casualties. So we're going to have to waste these, um, these archers' ammo. I don't know why I keep bringing dwarves up, they're so fucking slow. I just want you to get shot, waste the ammunition, there we go. Oh, so I've got two lots of archers. They might knock me down to maybe 30, 40 of these, but that's okay, I don't even like them that much. They shouldn't have too much more ammo. Maybe a few more volleys and that, then that's it. Alright, good. So they got us down to 46. I even overestimated their ability. They put their Border Prince guard right here though. Obviously, we sit ourselves right here and shoot down the lane. The bullfather guides are We shall secure the battlefield. Move out! Pain is our I'm turn the beast. Okay, you gotta make it count. Unstoppable. Hasha drives us onward. Our advance is unstoppable. Boom. So then the anger. Couldn't shot all the way down there. Ah, damn it. Right, let's pull them back a little bit. That's okay. I mean, we can't beat them in a melee. It's just. We've got all these bloody blunderbusses. Let's use them. That's all the cavalry dealt with, I think. And we're still getting a good amount of shock. Now, the reason I used a smaller unit rather than a big one, because obviously we're dealing with tight spots. You guys, stay back over here. Don't get in the blunderbuss's way. Oh, there's still a few cavalry men left. Shots are even going all the way down there. The they should break soon. Oh, motherfucker. None of their roots. Shoot him again. The fuckers. There we go. That's a nice shot there. Advance for the glory of Hashem. We are moving on. Our advance is unstoppable. Obliterate them. Obliterate them. I'll show you after the battle how many men the the uh, blunderbuss has killed. I'm sure, it'll be quite a lot. The prophets have. Yeah, 
it's definitely good when they get down to like six people left because it's uh, a lot easier to avoid friendly fire. Stop getting out of formation. Okay, they've basically given up now. I'm just gonna sit there like a bitch. I can bring in the others now too. There could be about something to get here. I didn't get a chance to shoot, oh well. So, how many did they kill? 730. Can't complain with that. Oh good, this is their capital taken now as well. Seems like only the Empire Generals caused crashes as well, so the Border Princes one, we seem to be okay. They seem to have a very simple unit roster as well. Not seeing any specialist units, and barely any cavalry either. That's nearly all of the Border Prince territory under our control here. Can we merge those two blunder? Oh, we can merge quite a bit. And you can come over here as well. What the fuck? You stupid shit. So he causes massive problems. Well, whatever. Don't have much left. I think they pulled all their forces back here. Where's my spy? Yep. They merged those two units that were there, or two forces, into this. I will see you brought to justice which isn't very large. And that's now their new capital. They've pretty much given up on this one, I guess. If I can, I'll try and get their next turn, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to leave here. But still, we now have 115 settlements. I think there might be 10 left. Given how much space there is, I know, hard to tell. Not really important to know exactly how many are left. Um, you is gonna get a right chopping. And there's still this orc army out here. He's got the same unit card as Grimgore Ironhide here. Wish I would have, I uh, could have thought that. This one here was Grimgore, because it says his name Grimgore, but the other one's Ironhide, so it's obviously him. And he's the war boss. Alright, let's see what's going on up here with the elves. Why waste such a short life? So we've got fairly small navy, nothing new available by the looks of it. Oh no, here's one. So you, your job is just to sort of sit, uh, just, just wait out here for whether or not the Dark Elves come back. I mean, they, it took them a very long time to come back, but you never know. I need more variety with ships, or it just takes too long. Okay, these places here can now recruit ships, so we can get started on that. It takes a long time, yes, but... We just need to get on with it. Shipwright doesn't take anywhere near as long. And that'll give us some more ships to play with. Because that'll, that'll take a while to sink. And don't forget we've got the other ones as well to deal with. But I'm going after the, that one first because it's got all the, um, the soldiers on it. Where is it? Gone. Yeah, that one there. 
Now what? Okay, I've got this guy here. He needs to go down south. There's, you know, some remnant forces there, but whatever. Um, I don't know if I really want to leave him hanging around here. If the beastmen show up, then we'll just raise another army and defeat them. Oh, motherfucker. They got minotaurs. Mm, I'm partly tempted to auto-resolve this because I don't give a shit. Victory is assured. Whatever. Clear off his losers out of the way. Remember me in the bleak lands of more. Victory is assured. Probably sh technically should have manually resolved it, but it's just goddamn rebels. Who gives a fuck? There's plenty of reinforcements and better reinforcements down here anyway. Fuck off. Oh, right, that's right, I remember. You should be able to beat them though, because they're just in the way. So yeah, just tossing up what to do about about uh, Wusterberg over here. What I could possibly do, and this is not really my favourite thing to do, is besiege it with so many forces and we just sit there for ages because it's a large city, it'll take a long time, and just starve them out. That way they'll have to sally out at some point and we'll kick their ass then. There's not much here, maybe I should go for that. Oh fuck, that was silly. All these guys are here. I'm gonna have to go and send a send a force over here to stop them. Now, given what I've currently got here and what they've got, it might be an idea to actually fight fight right there and just bring them in. And is he a night fighter? I don't know. Because he's got a perfect army for blunderbuss fighting. But we're already at 42 minutes. So I might actually just take a break here and uh, we'll deal with it next time. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. So uh, like and subscribe. Part 87's next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.